Good afternoon, my awesome friends and family. Oh my gosh, be ready for another wonderful cozy corner display today. It's going to be bees and butterflies. Now the flower arrangement that you see and the tray and the three placemats I used in the previous post, but I wanted to just leave it and build upon what I already had. Now I have a lot of beautiful bees and I have a lot of beautiful butterflies. So this should be a really nice display. Well, now as you can see, we're getting ready to put it all together. I went hunting for yellow flowers that I had, and do I have a lot. And I have these beautiful sunflowers and a beautiful pitcher that I got from Home Goods a few months back. I was really, really happy with it. And as you see, it is the way I bought it. And I think I paid about $9 for it. And that's not a bad price when you consider it was the container and the flowers. All put together, ready for me to use. These are my favorite flowers, and I love the beautiful muted colors of this pitcher. Well, and I've already used it in multiple displays already, if you don't recognize it. Now I'm going to start pulling all my yellow flowers that I went hunting around my house and garden for. Now some of these I had pairs of and I couldn't find, so we'll have to make do with what I could find. Well, what did you think of these pretty little yellow flowers? Aren't they beautiful? There's two little bunches on each side of this tray. Then on top of that, I put a couple more bunches here. These flowers all already had and they probably came from Hobby Lobby I think or maybe I think about, I might have got them from the Joann sale that's probably when I bought them. I went they had a big 70% off sale at Joann's and I went a little bit on the crazy side and here it is flanking on each side the same flowers the same size same everything. I thought it turned out pretty nice. Let me know what you think. And then of course, this I also bought. Even on sale, it was very, very expensive. I was shocked how much it was. I think even on sale at 70% off, I think I still paid about 11 or $12 for it. So this was like a $30 item. Can you believe it? It's not big either, it's really small. But I was going with the theme of a bees and it sort of reminded me of a beehive and it was so beautiful even though I thought it was way overpriced I still bought it now these flowers I just put in on the one side I do have another set of them but I don't know where they're at I've misplaced them so grandma did the best she could with what she could find and of course I always like using my yellow butter my yellow my white butterflies I have so many of them and they are one of my favorites and of course this is another reason why I bought this arrangement that beautiful red strawberry and I had some more red strawberries I bought the same day with the same flowers and I've misplaced them oh well I'll probably be doing another arrangement with this and as you can see on the other side I flanked it with another little bunch of yellow flowers that I had on my windowsill. I thought it turned out pretty good considering I couldn't find a few pieces I really wanted. And now I pulled out some more of my white butterflies and put some of my mushrooms in. Those are wooden mushrooms that I bought last year over at Cracker Barrel and I've used them a lot in the house and out in the garden. They have held up beautifully and I love them in the cozy corner. They just add that little extra whimsy that grandma loves. Well, let me know what you thought of this arrangement. And of course, I also threw in some yellow butterflies from I bought a Dollar Tree, except I paid a dollar and a quarter for them because I just bought them not too long ago. But I was really happy how it turned out. Let me know what you thought. You know how grandma always likes to hear if she's nailing it or if she needs to work a little bit more. Also, let me know if you are enjoying this content for I know if I should make more or less of it. I like to know if you're happy with what you're seeing. We do something different in every single day on this channel. 
You never know what you're going to see or find over here. We like lots of variety. Thank you so much for all your love and support. We really appreciate it. And look how that little red strawberry pops out by the white mushroom. Oh yeah, I loved it. That's why I bought it, even though it was way overpriced. And over on this side, we had another little strawberry. Isn't it cute? It popped out. Oh, and I love all the yellow and white. There really wasn't many colors we used here. This was basically a white, yellow, green display. I was pretty happy how everything turned out with all my beautiful butterflies and my beautiful flowers. Let me know what you thought. And you know, we always have something new and different to share with you every day. Hope you get to come back and see what we're going to do tomorrow. We always have something interesting to share. You never get bored watching this channel. You never know what you're going to see. Now see what we did in the bathroom. And we did a little refresh in the bathroom also with the yellow theme and the bees as you can see. I thought it turned out pretty nice. I have a little white tray, uh, so there was no cause for that. The flowers here I've had for some time, and these have been used in a prior post. This I use today is something new, and it was about $12, and then the bees I've had for some time too. You know, you just try to do the best you can to decorate on a budget. Move things around and repurpose as often as you can. For you don't have to keep spending money. And I'll try to do quite a few more posts with these same items and see how it will work. I thought it turned out pretty nice. May try this on a centerpiece. I bought these towels. They sort of remind me of a honeycomb pattern what do you think and I got these beautiful hand towels that actually have bees on them hopefully they're showing up on the camera and they go up all the way around and I also love the color gray as you can see my shower curtain is also gray so gray is one of my favorite colors in my home These bees you can see a lot easier and I place them on top of my other hand towel. I'm not quite sure if I want to have them together or not, but at least with these you can see the bee and you can see the honeycomb pattern in these towels. I decided to just put it like this. I thought it looked pretty nice and it looks really good with the pattern and the colors. What do you think? Let me know what you thought in the comment section. Here's some more hand towels in the bathroom as you can see and I have sort of a muddy green and yellow and I don't know what color that would be, sort of a grayish green, not quite sure. But they all work really well together, so what do you think? Just adding a few little touches of hand towels and new towels and a new refresh on the back of the toilet and your bathroom looks wonderful and it wasn't a big expense and these can be washed year after year and still look beautiful in the bathroom. Now with the B hand towel. It works really well, I thought, with both these hand towels. What did you think? I think it has more contrast and it looks better than the previous one. But that's what's great. Even though these patterns are different, they work together, don't you think? I thought they did great together. Give me your opinion on what you thought about the hand towels. And don't forget, if you're not already following us, please keep coming back and we always have something new and different every day on our channel. Please click the like button and let us know what you are enjoying for we know what more content to make for this channel. Hugs and kisses from Grandma Sandy and Debbie. I was going to leave this in a cozy corner but 
you know, since I put it in the bathroom, I love it so much, I think I'm leaving it here. It just looks so nice. It's small enough where it's not overtaking my bathroom. I have a small bathroom. But it adds a lot of color and interest to the bathroom. And of course, just changing out the towels and hand towels made a huge difference in here too. Let me know what you thought about the bathroom refresh. And did you like this arrangement better in the cozy corner or in the bathroom? I thought it looked beautiful in the cozy corner, but I'm going to leave it in my bathroom. I can always do the cozy corner a million different ways. This fit perfect in my bathroom, and with the towels, it will be something nice to look at for the next two or three months. Thank you so much, my dear friends, for the bathroom update.